What's up with it, YouTube? You tune into everything boxing. I don't watch reality TV. I watch boxing. There he go talking that boxing again. Check out this next video I got coming at you. But before you do that, hit that bell icon and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And don't just watch the video. Like this video one time for your boy. What's up with it, y'all? I'm back at you once again with the late breaking news in boxing like I always do. Now today, we're going to talk about Keith One Time Thurman. Or Keith, it's been a long time, Thurman. <laughs> but anyway, Keith Thurman, he just did an interview in regards to his upcoming big, big mega fight with Manny Pacquiao coming up July the 20th on Fox Pay-Per-View. Now, Keith Thurman, he was asked about, you know, the conditioning that he was in in the Josecito Lopez fight and how much better shape that he's going to be in for this Manny Pacquiao fight than he was for the Josecito Lopez fight. Now, Keith Thurman, he goes on to talk about how he's going to be in much better shape for this Manny Pacquiao fight. He says for the Josecito Lopez fight, the only thing he did for conditioning was go to LA Fitness at nighttime and ride a spin bike, you know. And then he goes on to talk about how he looks back at his whole career in boxing. He looks back to his amateur days and his professional. Of course, he's never lost in um, the professional uh, ranks yet. But in the amateur days, he says he looks back and he's never been beat by a flat-footed Latino Hispanic fighter. When, you know, talking, when he goes on to talk about, you know, him facing um, Jose Cito Lopez and what type of shape that he was in against Jose Cito Lopez. He says, you know, he looks back at his amateur career, his whole career, and that he's never been beat by a flat-footed Latino Hispanic fighter. He says the only guys to beat him in the amateurs was Charles Hadley and Demetrius Bubu Andra. So he says, yeah, he could never recall ever in his whole career being beat by a flat-footed Latino fighter. You know, when asked about Josecito Lopez and his conditioning in that fight. So basically, to sum it up, Keith Thurman was just letting everybody know that he didn't feel as if a flat-footed Latino fighter could beat him so he wouldn't really too worried about Josecito Lopez because I mean why would he say something like that and make that type of analogy if that's what he wasn't really trying to say you know in so many words that he wouldn't really too worried about Josecito Lopez Josecito Lopez didn't you know present a big threat to him you know like some of the other fighters that he's fought in the past that he knew that a flat-footed Latino fighter couldn't beat him and this right here, you know, uh, although it might be a little controversial because due to the fact that, you know, a lot of fans fell off the Keith Thurman bandwagon. And Manny Pacquiao has a lot of Hispanic and Latino fans. You know, Manny Pacquiao has had a huge Latino Hispanic fan base for years now. And a lot of them was already rooting against uh, Keith Thurman going for Manny Pacquiao and this right here might not make it any better for you know uh, Keith Thurman this gonna give a lot of fans another reason to go against Keith Thurman you know because when um, let's just keep it real when race is brought up it don't matter you know uh, what's said a lot of people they make a big deal out of it and they go you know they go they go push um, use that as another reason to go against Keith Thurman. Um, but like I told y'all before, Manny Pacquiao, to me, he doesn't got what it takes to beat Keith Thurman. You know, he's too old, and the strengths that Keith Thurman has, I think, are way greater than the strength that Manny Pacquiao has left. You know, this ain't 2008. This ain't 2010 no more. And I think right now, as far as this fight, it's Keith Thurman's time. 
and that's just who I'm rocking with. Y'all can rock with who you want to rock with, but don't say I didn't warn you ahead of time. But you know, Keith Thurman better really, really come with it. Because Keith Thurman, he been talking a whole lot. Keith Thurman been saying a whole lot. And he been talking a whole lot. And I don't want to see Keith Thurman get in that ring. And try to outbox Manny Pacquiao for the first six rounds. And then move around and run for the next six rounds. We don't want to see that. Back up that stuff that you been talking. Go in there and you better try to show out. You know, you better fight from the first round to the last round whenever the fight ends. <laughs> you know, because you're talking that one-time stuff that I got to owe and I ain't afraid to let it go. But go in there and show that. And we ain't seen one time in a long, long time. So, you know, I'm not saying that he could knock out Manny Pacquiao. But I'm telling you, he show better try. And he better try from the first round. To the last round to back up all that stuff that he been talking about. and if he do knock out Manny Pacquiao this is gonna skyrocket Keith Thurman you know probably um, way way up there in the welterweight division you know a lot of people might look at him um, I know that he'll be more popular than he was when he left the division and took that long hiatus but anyway, it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think about the comments that Keith Thurman made. And until next time, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. And do me a favor. Hit that bell icon and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Like this video and you already know what it is. Anything ain't everything. But around here, everything boxing. And I don't watch reality TV. I watch boxing. Let's go, 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 let's go, Keith. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep pushing, push it, push it. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Let's go. Keep going. We're not stopping. We're not stopping. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep going. Keep going.